Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing of some handmade watercolors. So when I did my unboxing and swatching of Poems About You watercolors, I mentioned that I had bought some other handmade watercolors too and that they were on their way. And I have gotten some of those in. And in this video, we're going to open up and swatch the ones that I bought from an Etsy shop called Pure Pigments by Olevra. I will put the Etsy shop information down in the description box below so you can check it out. This Etsy shop specializes in handmade watercolors and they are based in Spain so it took a little bit longer to get to me but it wasn't too terribly bad so I did order two things from the shop I ordered one particular set I'll show you guys the listing picture so you can check it out because this is what I immediately was drawn to I have been wanting to paint more people and faces and when I was searching for some handmade watercolors I ran across this listing and it is a set of skin tone watercolors. And I just thought it was so beautiful. So I ordered this and then when I ordered it, I added a three pack of mystery colors. So these are the watercolors. This is my packing slip, so I'm gonna move that aside. I did get this little package of tea with my order. And then these are the watercolors. So I'm gonna open them all up real quick and we will check them out. Now, one negative off the bat is that these are not labeled. There's no labeling on the pans. I've actually seen that in a lot of videos that I've watched on YouTube about handmade watercolors. A lot of times they aren't labeled. It's a little bit of a bummer because I have to guess which colors these are, but for the set that I ordered, the face set, which is this one I can kind of use the picture and line them up and I'm pretty sure that I have them in the right order so I will add labels myself with a permanent marker after I swatch them out and I make sure that this is correct but this should be the right order and in the listing I actually have the color names so I can add those for the other ones though I don't know what colors these are this is most obviously sort of neon or fluorescent I think that the green one is as well and the pink might be I'm not 100% sure but I'm guessing that this is sweet clementine just based on the listings this is neon lime and so the one that I'm not sure about is this pink so I will go through the listings in her Etsy shop and I will see if I can match up the color so that I can label it. It's not really that big of a deal, especially on these mystery ones, because they are so vibrant. I can see what color they are from the pan. And with handmade watercolors, a lot of times, once you buy the colors, you can't get them again if you run out in the future because they don't always remake the same colors over and over again. So I don't necessarily need to know exactly which ones these are because by the time I run out of these watercolors, I probably wouldn't be able to get them again anyways one of the negatives of handmade watercolors of course that depends on the company and how they do their colors but that's pretty common with handmade watercolors they're seasonal or special edition and so you can't buy them again but we are going to swatch these out so i'm going to scoot these aside real quick and this is my swatch book i've shared this a couple of times this is the swatch book that i swatch watercolors and gouache in so i have different brands different swatches in there and i have labeled it for pure pigments i am going to swatch today with this jackson's brush it is a synthetic brush and then i have my water with my paint puck down at the bottom just in case i need it so i'm going to start with the five colors that were the reason that i ordered and I'm just going to put a dot of water on the top of each one just so that they kind of get started. And we're gonna swatch them out. I do have some other handmade watercolors coming as well. I think I have two more orders. So I will be doing a couple more videos on those. Oh, that's really pretty. Now these are, like I said, skin tones. So the more water that you add, the lighter they'll get and you can get them down to a really nice soft skin tone color. These are very creamy. 
and they re-wet quite nicely. So I am excited about that. When I do people and faces, I don't really use like on the nose skin colors. So I just wanted some colors that would work as skin tones, but would be a little bit funky. And that's one of the things that drew me to this particular set because I liked the variety of colors that were in it. I left the TV on in the other room and I realized that it's probably a little loud. So I apologize if it's picking up. I was cleaning and then wanted to come and film for you guys. So that is the set that I bought, the Skin Tone set. Really pretty. I like those a lot. And let's pull up that, oops, let's pull up that picture again. I'm pretty sure that I did get it in the right order. Everything seems to match the colors the way that I swatched them. So I know the names that I need to put on each one to label them. So underneath, we're going to do these. So this is a neon orange, I think it's Clementine. Oh wow, that's very bright. I only have, um, I think five neon watercolors. My sister had bought a Schmincke watercolor set that was neon and she let me take some from her tubes. So I filled just a little bit in pans from that set. Those are the only neons that I have. So it'd be fun to add these to my collection. And this green is really pretty. That actually is a really good landscape grass green. I actually like that. And I think it'll probably mix nicely with some colors. And then the pink is kind of a magenta. It's more hot pink than I realized. It's really pretty. I don't know if this pink one is from the neon set. It doesn't appear very neon, but it is really pigmented. It's quite pretty. But these watercolors are really, really nice. I wish she would put labels on them just because it would be easier to match up what you ordered, especially since you can buy mystery colors so you'd know what you've got. Like I said, I don't really need it to be able to restock in the future. It's just nice to kind of to know the name of the color that you're using, especially if it was something that I was gonna use in a video with you guys and I was going to tell you the name so that you could buy the same watercolor. But not having names isn't like a deal breaker for me. But these watercolors are really nice. They're very nicely pigmented. They're very creamy. They re-wet really nicely. Sometimes with handmade watercolors, they're not very smooth. They'll be a little bit grainy or a little bit chalky, or they won't re-wet easily. These actually re-wet really well. They weren't chalky. They weren't grainy. They're really, really pretty. And I really like this skin tone set that I bought. I think that's really pretty. So I would be interested, do you guys buy handmade watercolors? Even if you don't watercolor for art, if you just add watercolor to your journals and things like that, do you buy handmade watercolors? Do you guys paint like for pleasure, for fun, like I do as kind of like a craft hobbyist? Or do you paint professionally? I'd be interested to know. But I like watercolors. I use them for fun in painting. I also use them in my journals, sometimes in my planners. I just think that they're a really fun, magical medium, and I really like playing with them. So I'm very excited to snag these handmade watercolors from Pure Pigments. Like I said, I will put a link to her Etsy shop down below in the description box. I will also link the skin tone set that I bought, and then I'll link these colors based on which colors I think they are in her listings. If you have any questions about what I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.